All right, so now we are going to connect our domain name to our hosting so we can actually get our website up. Or so our website will actually go up and actually work and be connected to our domain name. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Namecheap and you're going to go ahead and log in. Uh, and you can either hit dashboard or domain list. As you can see, here's my domain, domain list. I have tons of domains in here. So I could either scroll down and find it in my list of domains. For many of you, you won't have to use this search feature. You can just scroll down, hit manage next to the domain you want to manage. For me, I'm going to actually search for the domain because I have so many domains. So I'm going to type in complete and this site comes up. So I'm going to click manage next to it and that's where I want to be for now. Okay. So we're now in, uh, you'll see this screen right here. All right. So what we're interested in is this right here, this drop down. We'll get to that in just a second. Remember, I told you to write down uh, the name server or, you know, the, the information they sent you in the email. What we're going to take from this information right now on this step is the name servers, okay? And that's this one right here and this one right here. All right, and what we're going to do is just copy this. All right, so we're going to copy. I'm just hitting Control and C. It's a copy, or you can go to Edit Copy, whatever you want to do. So you can see right next to it, Control plus C. It's a quick copy method if you don't know that. Now we're going to come here and we're going to go to this box and we're going to scroll down to Custom DNS. And we're going to put name server one in there, okay? Then you can go copy the second one and put that in. What I usually do is because it's usually the next number is like paste the same one and change that to a six. But I could have went here and just copied the second one and pasted the second one. And you'll see it's the same exact thing because almost always the way they come is you know if you have six two two five, the next one's going to be six two two six. So whatever, just copy name server one and name server one slot. Copy name server two in the name server two slot and then hit the green check mark okay now if you're using godaddy for a registrar for your domain name or any other company it's the same thing it may look a little different but you just have to change the name servers to what your hosting company sent you what this is saying is this you know transfers information over the web i don't know how it works remember i'm not technical it transfers information sends this to the hosting company now the hosting company is able to put this domain on their you know on their server i guess you could say i don't know exactly the technically how it works but it just allows you to connect your domain name to your hosting so we can now start building our website all right so we're now connected sometimes this does take a few hours to actually connect fully Usually it's very quick though. Usually it connects within a, within 10, 20 minutes. Uh, and I can actually go into the C panel now, which we're gonna do next and kind of do some things and install WordPress, all right? But just be aware, if you install WordPress right away and your site's not showing up, it's because it hasn't propagated yet. And propagation is basically the syncing of your domain with your hosting account. They say it can take up to 48 hours. It virtually never takes that long. I, I notice it's usually pretty quick, usually pretty much right away, although sometimes it can take a few hours, all right? So just be aware of that. If you go in and install WordPress right away and your site's not showing up yet, it's probably because it's not propagated yet, all right? So just be aware of that. All right, so our domain is now connected to our hosting. The next step we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you into the hosting cPanel so I can get you familiar in there and start showing you how we're gonna set up our website.